It seems like tattoos have become such a trend and many Christians have them. Leviticus 19.28 says, do not cut your bodies for the, for the dead or our tattoo marks on ourselves. I am the Lord. Is it a sin to get one? What's the biblical stance? Okay, I wanna do something for this question that's a little bit fun. I just wanna ask, how many people here have a tattoo at Christ Community? Just come on, how many people? Sinners? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So uh, we did a series on Leviticus uh, last year and uh, it was a fun series for us to be able to ask what, what is the reason behind this? Now you guys may remember from that series that Leviticus was designed because God was creating a counterculture in the wilderness. They had been identifying with the Egyptian culture for many years. They were about to walk into all of these other cultures as they go into the promised land. And God's saying, I want you to have an identity that is different than the rest of the cultures that are around you that are worshiping pagan gods. And so there were food laws, there were ways to get clean, there were sacrificial laws that helped them to be able to create that identity. And one of these things was this uh, verse in Leviticus that says, don't get cut for the dead and don't get tattoos. Why would they have that during the time? Well, at the time, these were signs that were automatically associated with pagan rituals that were opposed to the Jewish faith. And in doing so, that meant that you were saying, my identity is with paganism and not with the Lord. So during that time that they were there in the wilderness and on throughout the Old Testament, because that was a, an identification marker by surrounding cultures that they belonged to a different God, God said, don't do that. In our culture, tattoos have all kinds of meanings and all kinds of symbolism, and you can get a tattoo that's very God-honoring, you can get a tattoo that's really, really weird. I sat next to a guy on a plane who had a tattoo on his thigh that was a skull coming out of a toilet with a hand. And I asked him, why did you get a skull coming out of a toilet with a hand? And the guy said, well, I was at a tattoo convention and there was like a power outage or a weather event and Everybody had to stay in the building, and one tattoo guy said, if you'll let me choose what the tattoo is, I'll give it to you for free. <laughs> so I said, sure, and this is what he tattooed on me. And he was kind of proud of it. So, you know, that should have been in Leviticus, you know, no tattoos with skulls coming out of toilets. Uh, anyway, <laughs> your tattoo may be something that's you know, a memory of your life or God honoring, all those kinds of things. It's not that tattoos are wrong, it's the association with paganism that's wrong. So the principle that comes from Leviticus is don't associate with paganism. 